driver behind us, look. Stan was driving it. Here you go, bro. See it, my little girl? This oh, no, we've got it. We can go in there. Okay. Stand. So what's seen? Where do you want? What? How do you want to put them in? Oh yeah. Right up against the front. Right up against the front. Just watch out for that corner. That's it. And I'll lock it in.
What a wonderful world I see skies of blue And clouds of white The bright blessed day 
dark sacred night And I think to myself What a wonderful world The colors of the rainbow So pretty in the sky Are also on the faces Of people going by I see friends shaking hands Saying how do you do They're really saying I love you I hear babies cry I watch them grow They learn much more Than I never knew And I think to myself What a wonderful world Yes, I think to myself What a wonderful Yeah. 
And oh, my soul, so weary when troubles come and my heart burden be, then I am still and wait here in the silence until you come and sit a while with me. You raise me stand on mountains you raise me up to walk on stormy seas I am strong when I am on your shoulders you raise me up to more than I shoulders you raise me up to more than I can be there is no life no life without its hunger each restless heart beats so to more than I can be.
<laughs> There's too many people who know you here. You can't lie. He's the real one. <laughs> what would you like to do? We want so you. Oh. Cool. We had this debate at the Hawks Club about Napui Tainui. <laughs> Whose co papa do you follow? <laughs> so, yeah.
Uh, kia ora. Um, <coughs> we, we've been told we've got an order of service here, so we will follow that. But we can breathe a bit. We remember those that are being live streamed to who can't be here. And so just remember when we are speaking or thinking, our thoughts will be heard. We're going to begin uh, as this part of receiving Olson to sing the Himine Fakari Mai, which is on your service sheet. And then after that, I'm going to ask Otini um, to do our, uh, finish our welcome and do the karakia. I hope someone can sing because I can't sing. <laughs> Tata, we know. Tata, we tell you, he 
Tinei a tai, panui nei tā tātai pranga maha, tā tātai pāpā ana koriro atu ki roto, ki te pōuriri, ki te pōtango-tango, ana ki tua o pai. A takoto mai koe e karai te takoto ranga o tūpuna a o mātua, a nei hakoa heiti he paunamu, ana ko te roi mata tēnei, o te hupe tēnei, ngā tohu o te aroha tēnei kahi poki nā te kirunga ki a koe. A e moe, e moe, e moe tō moe ngā roa. Kwa riro mākū, a te pā nui tua tahi, a mō tā tātau, mō tā tātau hui hui ngai te rangi nei. I've been given the task to give our first scripture reading for our service this afternoon, this morning, and I'm going to say it in Māori. Comes from Psalm 121. Ka ngā tōku kanohi ki ngā maunga nō reira nei te awhina mōku. Nō i hoa te awhina mōku nō te kaihanga o te rangi me te whenua. E kore e o tuku tau wai wai ki aneke hia. E kore tau kaitiaki e moi. Ine, kore te kaitiaki o i harairā e parāngia e moi. Ko i hoa tau kaitiaki, ko i hoa tau kaiwhakamaru maru tōna ringa matau. E kore koe pākei te rā i te awa te ai te mārama rā nei te pō. Mā i hoa koe te aki rō te ngā kino katoa. Māna e tohu o tātou wairua, mā i hoa e te aki o tātou hairinga atu me o tātou hairinga mai. Aia nei, a ki tonu atu. Amine. Lift up my eyes to the hills, but where shall I look for help? Today we gather to farewell Olson. It's part of a long process and it's part of a gathering of many peoples. Samoa, Napui, Mangere, Sydney, all over the place, part of the journey of Olson's life. We know that he must be really important because it's taken Inga and Joely to escort him onto the next journey. Maybe that's to keep him under control. Maybe it's because he's held with such high esteem. So thank you as we gather. Our service today is very simple because Olson was a humble man. Troublemaker, but humble. And so today our service honours his journey the logos on his casket, the kurawai, the jerseys, are part of that journey. I've got a list of speakers, but, but anyone after that is welcome to come and speak. And so my job and Otini's job, simple. We just, uh, we're the MCs and we wrap around you so that you are safe so that you're able to gather, so that you're able to be in peace to know that Olsen is cared for. Our first uh, speaker is Brother Joe. So we're going to throw him up first. Kia ora, Joe. First of all, I'd uh, like to uh, to the family of uh, Joali Ruderi uh, and Ren uh, Inga my mum before they passed on they uh, gave all the uh, and, uh, gave all the uh, their blessings through their father and their family so I returned that 
with the Philip Arna family to the Inga and uh, Joe Alley. You know, um, speaking of my brother Ollie, uh, there's many memories, even 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 his mates are uh, yeah, they hold him high in esteem because I remember there were times we used to have um, just at the back of uh, Mum's home we had have um, matches like cricket games and that. There was one uh, episode I was there and we picked teams <coughs> and we uh, actually I uh, started off we had teams and we we started oh, well they were, um, Ollie, he was gifted with so many talents with the ball and everything. And uh, during the uh, cricket match we had at Sutton Park, there was a rubber ball that was so hard. And it's like somewhat like a Super Bowl. And you catch that ball, man, it'll knock your blink your hands off. But this time, when Ollie was in, I tried so hard. <clears throat> I tried the old Richard Hadley overarm bowling very fast, man. And he just whacked the darn thing. And, that, and he was, you know, every time he whacks that ball, he's got to take his run. And this run through just adding up and adding up. And, we get, and I was getting so peed off with him, whacking the bloody ball all over the place. I gave up. So what I did, I, the next ball I had, instead of the overarm, I wanted to throw the darn thing at the box. And uh, it didn't work. He just probably looks at me and said, Bring it on, brother. <laughs> Bring it on. So I, no matter how I tried, he just, like nothing, whack! That was it. Those were the times. There were many other times. And uh, his mates, if they were, were here, I would uh, I like to know um, if they ever played with him. <clears throat> I call him. Why I call him the silent assassin? Because the way he plays on the field. If he was marked and he got hit, he'll just get up, stand up and laugh. And he'll remember that hit. And he'll just say, next time you get, a, you get that ball, I'm going to go for you. And yeah, that's it. And that's, man, those memories are great. <coughs> but saying all that, <coughs> Ollie and I were brought up in a country place where we call uh, in Awadua there's a street that goes up the back there and uh, the, the street we used to live on was uh, uh, Tokafero, it's a Maori name I don't know what it means but we li used to live across the creek and uh, what my dad said we were and mum said that I was born, down, born under a cabbage tree. And, oh well, that was as I uh, was told. I don't know where Olsen was born. Sorry, man. It's just that I get emotional. The young one there. <coughs> you know, when my dad was still alive, Every time that creek used to flood when it rained, then we had a milking cow that used to be across the creek. My dad used to swim across that creek just to get our milk, milk for our Ollie and I. And usually it gets pretty, the current was pretty strong. He used to tell me this, just to bring milk to us. You know, there are many things also I could have learnt off, or brothers and our friends have learnt off him. He's so, so a humble man. Uh, you know, if his mates were here, and I'm sure they would have shared a few stories. Um, through his games, he was gifted. 
You know, hey, sometimes you watch these people on TV like the uh, rugby league and upcoming stars, how they go through the uh, go through their um, thing. But Ollie, being what he is, he's so talented with the ball. He can set you up from nowhere. His passes were almost <coughs> accurate. Like he'll just pass it to you, and if you're there, it's not a hard pass, like some of them you see on TV, a bullet shot pass. Nah, Ollie's is always on that mark, and you be there to take it. It's pretty good. Saying all that, I uh, introduced myself. I am the oldest out of the Filipino family. My name is Joseph Douglas Filipina. There are six brothers I have. Olsen is the second one. Olsen Ordekewa Filipina. Third one is Alfred <coughs> Meredith Filipina. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we've got Jerry, who is in Australia, who uh, organised the funeral for Ollie and plus his wife. Jerry F Cassidy Filipina. Then we've got Philip. Philip, Filipina, Filipina. And we've got the younger brother that is now at rest with mum, Ray Allen, Filipina. And I'd like to extend my warm welcome and extinguished guests that are here. Thank you for turning up for Ollie. Sometimes I think, and I'm looking over here, and I'm thinking, why is the young ones are going first? It should be the old, other way around, the oldest or whatever. No, there must be a place for us. God's calling something like that. I don't know. There's nothing much I could say, but I could, uh, there are many other stories, but no, I'll leave it at that. I have a song that I would love to share with Ollie. It, uh, you can take this with you. Um, thank you very much, you guys. Thank you.
Good as a love, everybody. Um, I'm one of the younger brothers, Philip. Uh, nothing I say or do will bring our brother back, but we're here to honour him. Um, I was sitting over there thinking I'm not going to cry. It just went out the window, didn't it? Um, my speech is just going to be like me, just going to be short and sweet. Uh, I just want to thank everybody for... Uh, coming. Um, I know there would have been a lot more people here with uh, COVID and everything, but uh, I'd like to thank you all for coming and uh, honouring our brother. In memory of our brother, um, I'd also like to thank everybody that helped for the last few days. Um, I just want to say that uh, love your family. Family is everything. The memories we make are the ones we keep here. And we have a lot of memories of us. And this way I will keep them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, is the speaker going to start singing again or do I have to say something? <laughs> um, not too sure. So we did at the end? Yeah. Okay. Thanks for saving me. <laughs> Can I feel? <coughs> and for those who are worried about having to sing, not everyone's as talented as Joe. Uh, wasn't that an amazing tribute song? Lay down my head and rest. It's your time. Uh, our next speaker is going to be Anthony on behalf of the young ones. They probably will want to get up and speak after you too, but that's okay. <clears throat> um, yeah, hey, hey family. Um, yeah, I've been asked, um, or been told, been told um, <laughs> to say a few words on behalf of all the nieces and nephews um, to the uncle on my left. Um, it's been a it's been a, a heck of a long week, um, but the time is finally approaching where we can um, put uncle at peace at last with Na, with Nan and Uncle Uncle Ray. <laughs> Um, it's it's been um, though 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 we've been in mourning, um, it's it's been pretty mint how uh, how we've all uh, come together and um, like all the all the work we've been putting in behind the scenes, getting getting um getting mainly Tennessee ready for um, for Uncle's return home. Um, these. These sort of challenging times uh, have the ability to make or break a family, but I think 
I can confident, confidently say in, in our case it's, uh, it's, brought us, it's brought us together and made us a lot stronger. Um, we all basically put our personal lives on pause for this last, uh, last week, last few days. Um, going from spending every hour, every day with uh, partners, kids or at work. Um, to only being able to see those partners and kids for a couple hours in the evening before going to sleep, waking up and then hanging around each other again. Um, not, not that it's a bad thing, but it just, it just proved that um, we can prioritise certain things, uh, especially moments like this where um, it requires a, 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 a collective group of all of us to come together and uh, share the load of the pain and the grief that we're all uh, feeling, but made uh, made significantly easier because we uh, we we spent so much time together. Whether it was having a, having a few quiet drinks and a laugh, like we did on Saturday, or uh, just sitting down, having a, having the the tough conversations, the, the the sort of conversations that me personally I tend to avoid completely, um, but being, being together and coming together um, made it a lot easier to actually have those conversations, sort of like how, uh, just as an example for me personally, how, how uh, you've been there for me a lot, Jamie. Um, if, not normally with me, again, sorry to make it personal about me, but um. I tend to completely avoid emotion and tough conversations and ad addressing addressing things that hurt me mentally. But because of the way we we rallied together as a family, as a as a whole collective of cousins, um, it, it, it made that a piece of cake. I didn't even have to think twice. The the, the difficult conversations I've had with Jamie and and a lot of the other cousins, Sheena, who I don't see her. Um, but yeah, made, made it uh, just a piece of cake to do. Um, I know I speak for all of us when I say that um, you're going to be dearly missed, dearly missed. The laughs, the 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 stick he always gives, the um, the games of tennis that I could never, never seem to beat him in. That's uh, it's going to be. Uh, Dearly missed, um, but yeah, the, the memories will stick with us. Even though uh, Uncle Uncle has passed on, um, but yeah. So just on behalf of the nieces and the nephews, the cousins, uh, just thank you all for being here. And um, yeah, it's it's been a it's been a tough time, made a lot easier with uh, the right company. And yeah, that's that's all I really wanted to say. Thank you. Thanks, Anthony. Courage is something that we're challenged at times like this. So thank you. Uh, Namaru is going to speak. Good everybody. <coughs> Sorry. Hi, <coughs> sweet. Kopu hanga to hora te manga. Kumanga tawa te awa. Konga toki mata fauru a te waka. Kopu kirata te marae. Ko ngai tui te auri te hapu, ko ngā puinui tonu te iwi, ko Joy Taylor toki mama, ko Cyril Howard toki papa, ko ngā maru Howard aho. Ngā mihi nui ki a koutou katoa, to the whanau pani, my heartfelt condolences to you. I love you guys so much as I love my uncle, it's infinite. Just to let everyone know who I am, my name is Ngā maru Howard, my auntie Leslie, is my mother's sister. 
I stand here strong on behalf of our Taylor Farno to Afi and support my first cousins in Australia that cannot be here today with their father on his final journey as we take him home to Te Tai Tokiro, to Hikuatika, to be reunited with his beloved Farno. I will share a few memories I have in my head with, about my uncle, but only a few, because the precious ones I want to keep with me forever. I first built a connection with Uncle Wilson in 2013 when me and my mother moved to Sydney. I was 15 at the time and we lived with Auntie, Uncle and Quinn. They were beautiful times and I got to see the true uncle. He was a crack up and always had a joke to say to us. His smile was infectious. It filled every single room he walked into. And when you were around, I knew it was going to be good. I knew it was going to be a good time and I was going to be happy. He always offered to take me places and give me money when I needed it when I was younger. And never ever made me feel stranded or, or, or unwanted in a new place. You were always a good uncle to me. It's sad to say, but I was kind of happy that you passed away because then I could see you again and they were going to bring you home so we could take you back to your true home. You know, I was hoping they weren't going to bury you in Australia. I was really hoping they weren't. Please say hi to my nanny for me. Please say hi to my granddad in heaven. Until we meet again, Uncle. Moi meira. Uh, kia ora nā maru. She was so keen this morning, I think she came here about 8 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, our next speaker, before we open the floor, just so that you can think whether you want to speak or not, is uh, Phil Goff, uh, Mayor of Auckland. Kia ora, Phil. Good afternoon and my greetings to all of the family and friends of Olsen who are here today, uh, to those online who because of circumstances uh, can't be with us and of course to the, uh, the whanau uh, in Australia. Um, it's been a, a privilege to have been asked by Alf to say a few words uh, about Olsen and I want, first of all, of course, to, to pass on to Joe, to Alf, to Philip, uh, to partner Leslie, and to all of the family, um, our deepest sympathy and condolences from the council family, uh, elected members and, and staff, and to acknowledge that we have Cathy Casey and Jim Stabak here representing, and Phil Wilson, uh, representing the council. For you as family uh, and, and friends, the important things that you'll remember about Olsen is that he was a, a decent and a kind man, a humble person, uh, somebody who, who held his family high in his priorities, nothing more that he liked than to spend time with his family. And on top of those things, you'll have the huge pride that all of us as New Zealanders have at the way in which Olsen represented our country uh, on the rugby league field. Uh, I grew up playing rugby, but my dad was a staunch rugby league man and he never took me to Eden Park, but he did take me to Carlaw Park. And for those of you that are old enough, you'll remember that Carlaw Park wasn't like the parks we play on today. 
you know, there's a big muddy heap in the middle of a paddock and people came off, uh, um, you know, just covered in mud and uh, you had to be a duck to play on that field at times. But one thing I do remember is, uh, and I was a bit older when, when Olsen started playing for New Zealand, uh, but my dad would always talk about the rugby league greats and he certainly included Olsen as one of the greatest of our rugby league players. Um, the abiding, we all have particular memories of Olsen playing and it's just a fantastic shot on the, the cover of, uh, of Olsen's biography. But it was sometime in the mid 80s and it was a game again at Carlow Park before they moved to Mount Smart and we beat the Aussies 18-0. Fantastic. <laughs> But what I remember of Olsen was how he outplayed the man who marked him. And who was that man? His name was Wally Lewis, probably the greatest of all Australian players. But Olsen outplayed him. And it was a moment uh, all too rare in our games against Australia, actually, uh, that we remember with huge pride. But the contribution that Olsen made to rugby league was much more than the fantastic skills he brought to the field. Today, you know, when we follow NRL, we see both the Australian sides now and the, uh, and the Warriors, you know, dominated by our Pacifica players, powerful, strong, uh, excelling in the skills that they bring. But it wasn't like that when Olsen started playing rugby league. He was one of the first Pacifica players and if you read the biography, you'll see some of the challenges, including from his coaches, that he had to face up to as a Pacifica player. And he faced up to them, and he was a pioneer for all of those who followed. And I just want to take a couple of quotes from people who know much better than me. One of them is an old friend of mine, Sir Graham Lowe, and uh, Lowe said this about Olsen. He said, Olsen was a pathfinder, the first to show what Polynesians could do, and he was the face of hope of his community. And also from uh, All Black, Eroni Clark, who described Olsen as, and I, I like this, as being like the stars by which the original Pacifica navigators sailed. He dared to open the pathway. Olsen gave us permission to dream to express our talent and individuality without conforming. And he gifted us a map to navigate through. Uh, when Olsen passed away, Alf did a really good interview and he said, um, the Lord needed a, a standoff and he chose the best. Unfortunately, he hasn't stopped Alf. <laughs> And he's now added Vainga and Joali because he needed a couple of good wingers as well. I've got a, a copy of Olsen's biography, um, kindly inscribed by Olsen with a, a brief message to me. And I had hoped to be at the launch of the book, uh, invited by, by Elf at the uh, Mangere East Hawks Rugby League Club, uh, not far from where the family grew up in Mangere and equally not far from where my wife grew up in Mangere, so it, it has a particular uh, importance to me there. Unfortunately, the pandemic intervened, and I'm speaking with Olsen, but not in the way that I had hoped to last year. And it was a, a really sad opportunity that we, we lost through the pandemic. But the book is just a remarkable testimony to a really great league player and a decent man, uh, just as it is a testimony uh, that Olsen was inducted into the Hall of Fame. And he'll be long remembered, not only by you as family and friends that knew all aspects of the man, but by all of us as New Zealanders. So to Leslie, to Alf, uh, to Philip and Joe and the family, we know how much love for and pride in Olsen that you have, and we share with you the loss that you'll feel. At Mauridum, they say, Kuhinga te totara, i tawānui a tane, a totara has fallen in the great forest of Tane. Olsen, uh, 
Haere, haere, haere atu rā. Moe mai, moe mai, moe mai. Rest in peace. Thank you. Thank you, Phil. It's important, I think, not to race on without listening to what people are saying. The gift of being a star by which people navigate the Pacific is a fundamentally important gift that Olson has given. I'm also here representing Mangari East League Club because uh, I've been around for a while. I'm just young. I've only been there 30 years. But in that 30 years, Olsen was the icon. He was the guiding star. He is the guiding star. If you go to the league club, uh, we're we're very privileged. We've got the biggest picture on his casket. But if you go to the club, it's Olsen's photos. The whanau were there on Friday. His photos are all over the walls for people to be reminded. One of the things about our gathering on Friday was that the young ones were there. Olsen's nephews were there. Those guys were able to make a connection between this man and the photo and the heart. And that's about the navigation. That's about the connecting our hope and our journeys. Um, There are a lot of stories on Friday too about the survivors of Olsen. I don't think there was anyone who sidestepped Olsen. There were a lot of stories about the secret with Olsen was just follow him. Don't stand against him, follow him, and then he'll pop the ball to you. Or he'll do something like that. These were guys who grew up also uh, on the streets around Sutton Park. There was quite a celebration about Sissy's... uh, food and the amount of food that was consumed at their house. Um, Even Alf got a little bit of a mention as being a superstar first five also. So just remind him. I'm not sure. Are there any other ones who want to speak? Uh, If you do want to speak, you're very welcome to. If you just want to come up and speak privately also, and you're also okay to do that. And after a period of time, um, I will close it, and then we'll have our closing, um, we'll have a, a shared waiata, te aroha, and then we'll close, and then we'll have our closing karakias. So please, um, don't be scared of silence, but also don't be scared to come up and just be with him. Hairi Ah. Kia kui e elf. 
I just, uh, on behalf of, as our chief, the mayor has spoken on behalf of Te, te Kauni Hiro Tamaki Makaurau, on behalf of his Māori team, Ngā Matarai, I stand before you just to bring the respect and the aroha and the love of that particular group, but all of the groups of Te Kauni Hira, as our, our rangatira, our koro mātua has spoken, um, to your ainga, to your family of, uh, to your, your brothers and all of your family, just to uh, show our appreciation and show our love and uh, for your loss of a great man, indeed, a navigator who opened the pathway for many of us who played sports, didn't matter what it was, as a, as a Hula Haka Fano from out west Auckland too, uh, Māori and Samoan, um, the Compain family. I uh, personally want to, uh, for my younger brother Glee, uh, wish to pass on uh, the love and aroha to you for your loss and to acknowledge, as we do, as family, you came to his, his baby's tangi uh, when she was still born. Um, and uh, I can also personally, not only as a kaimahi for the uh, kaunihira, but also as whānau and as a brother, to pay respects and to show our love for you and all that you do for our Māori and Pacific community. And your brother, he did the same thing in a different way and another way. And an icon and a uh, someone who from my generation, we looked up to, and we admired, and we wanted to be like him. Um, so just, just wanted to say, nga mihi nei ki a koe te te tua kana e of, ko hara mai ki te afi ki te tautoko, te kaupapa nei, nō reira, tēnei te mihi atu ki a koutou, koutou katoa te whānau, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou. love to you all. Um, I just want to give you the whakapapa to the casket. Um, that's for those online. So the family decided that um, when he returned from Sydney, the most important thing for us is to uh, get a new casket for him so he can start his journey going up to Awurua. Um, so we looked at the possibilities this particular one was the one that um, it was agreed that also should be in to start the journey up home. So as, as Peter said and, and, and uh, the representative um, uh, for Mangat East, uh, the biggest emblem on top there is the Mangat East one. That's where also started, that's where all of us uh, brothers started. The second one is the ARL, Auckland Rugby League badge on the top. That one there, and uh, tomorrow they got the session with um, um, with Kiwis and the community, uh, NZRL, ARL, Margaret East tomorrow. And the ARL, the significance to that is that 1977 team that also was part of, where they beat uh, three international teams in the space of 20 days, uh, Australia, Great Britain and France. So the ARL is the, the second, um, heading down to, to his feet. The third one is Samoan Rugby League. Um, for those that know, in 1988, he represented our dad 
and he played for Western Samoa uh, way back in the Pacific Cup. And that was the first time that, that he represented uh, Samoa, the, where, where our dad came from, um, Alawese. And um, they lost the final to New Zealand Māori, but also was named the player of the tournament in 1988. That was the only time. He only played for Western Samoa uh, once. The last one on the top of um, the casket is New Zealand Kiwis. And we've heard people talk about the fact that every time he put their jersey on, he just played out of his skin. He was just the bomb. And as um, uh, his worship, the mayor, mentioned, um, uh, beat Wally Lewis in that particular series, and especially 18-0. So that's what we've got on the top of his casket. If you see as you walked in, there's a New Zealand Rugby League badge. So that was important for us that when people walked down to his casket, there was the one again that they would see as the New Zealand Rugby League. At the head end is Margaret East, um, a game where he started. On the sides, we wanted to put him. The family decided that it's important that we represent the clubs that he played for. On this particular side is um, North Sydney, Balmain Tigers, right eastward. Balmain Tigers was the first club he went over in 1980. Um, he then went and played uh, North Sydney. Um, and on the other side where Leslie is, the only emblem up there that's not on this side is the Sydney Roosters, because Austin played uh, one year with um, East, um, Eastern Suburbs, uh, it was known at the time. Um, but the logo there is the Sydney Roosters. Um, you've also got on both sides Right Eastwood Hawks. Now Right Eastwood was our sister club with Mahangat East many years ago. And Olsen and Clayton Friend, um, they ended up playing in the inaugural uh, cup um, and they won it, the Metropolitan Cup in that year. And um, they won it, Olsen kept on the side. The only other one there on this side is Kaikohe Lions Rugby League. Yeah, <laughs> so we've got Kaiko Head Lions Rugby League. Why are they there? They're there because when uh, Patrick Skeen, the author of Olsen's book, when they went up home, um, the chair of the Kaiko Head Lions, um, they contacted him, and it was Ken. When they met Ken, they presented Olsen with a jersey from Kaiko Head Lions, and also made him patron of the club. That's why we've got that on there. So that's the fucker papa to this. On the, the casket, you got these jerseys. Those jerseys were placed on Olsen's casket in Sydney. Now, our brother, who's over there, Jerry and Sonia, uh, were mentioned. I also want to acknowledge Jerry and, and Sonia, but also the whanau over there, his children, our nieces and nephews, I want to acknowledge them. Why? Because this is the reason we've got Olsen here. They allowed him to come back home. So I want to acknowledge them. I want to acknowledge all the clubs that are um, put on the side here and also those of the jerseys. I want to acknowledge all of them and say thank you. But especially to the whanau over there to say thank you. Thank you for allowing him to be here. Thank you, thank you for allowing him to, to have his journey um, with us. Um, Leslie went over there, I think it was about 12 days, I think 12, 14 days, just, just to again be there to make sure that he came back and, you know, the job's done uh, from here and now it's for us to finish that journey and I think Anthony mentioned it and the brothers around getting back up home. Um, lastly, I just wanted to acknowledge um, worship um, to you, uh, also our CEO of Auckland Council, Jim Stavick. Um, Phil Wilson, director, um, Kathy, elected member, and I see Claudia there as well, another director, so Claudia, I want to acknowledge you. Tipa, I'm Mihi Kiaupui, um, and also we see our cousin, Olo, um, plus also uh, our, our whanau, um, and um, uh, for, for us, the Tamati, because we are a family. And I just want to acknowledge you, and they're connected with my, with my dad's side, and they're here as well, so I want to acknowledge them um, and all the other whanau that are here. 
Uh, I think I see that's Ryan and Wolfie. And look, that's uh, Ray, young Ray, um, the one that's with mum. That's his sons. So I want to acknowledge uh, you all. Also, Mihi <coughs> to, to Monica Memorial Gardens and also Maurice. Maurice is uh, a, a sister to, to us um, with dad's other family. Um, she's here as well. Um, and I think most importantly is, is, is to our, our ministers and our, our, our rangatira here, Otene Junior. Um, thank you so much and to our ministers for officiating. So that's, that's really my job is to thank everybody for coming through and, and, and again. The journey's not over. To let you know, Tuesday is the last session from Tuesday. We will travel up to Awuru um, at the uh, Te Huruhi Murai. That's our, that's our home. And um, we'll be take, going up there and get there Tuesday night. Wednesday, we'll have one day for our whānau up at Te Tai Tokerau. We'll have one day on the Wednesday. Thursday, there'll be a service. And then we lay off some rest with, with mum and, and, and our younger brother. So uh, to everybody here and online, ngā mihi ki a katoa, on behalf of the families to say thank you and fa fatei lava. Thank you. Ka te aki ko tāku noa he mihi ki a tātou, te āhua tanga o tā tātou noho, ngā maharatanga i whakaputa o tā tātou parangamaha, tā tātou pāpā, tā tātou matsua, a kāti uh, uncle Takoto Maira i runga i enei hui hui ngā kōrero, i enei hui hui ngā roimata, i enei hui hui ngā maharatanga mō. Ana ko puta, uh, ngā whakaaro e te koe mō te ngākau. O haere, he haere, moke moke, mō mātau, mō tātau, ka waiho, ka mahue ake nei. Nō reira haere rai tō haere, e raroi ngā manaki tanga o te wāhingaro. E moe, e moe, e moe mai rā. Ko kou tō te pō, a ko tātou a pō pō. And just to tautoko o the mihi on behalf of the whānau, um, the iwi here, Waikato Tainui, e mihi ana ki a kūtau e te mana whenua. Um, the, the, the memory shared, no, just want to add to a memory. So we called him Uncle Olson, known him all, all our lives. And one of the memories, um, we only knew him as Uncle Olson. And it wasn't until we were adults that we happened to um, go to the Mangere East Club one time. And me and my sister walking through the, through the door, and she turns around to me and goes, is Uncle Olson famous or something? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, must be. Like, wow, look at all these big photos, the big photos of him in there. And because <laughs> all we've known him is that's his Uncle Olson. Um, but our memories of him is he's, he's been a constant in our lives, especially since the passing of our dad. Um, We'd often go back to Sydney and people would go, oh, have you seen Uncle Olsen? No, not for a long time. And without a word of a lie, there'll be a knock on the door an hour later and it's Uncle Olsen just to come have some, and to have a catch up. And then, um, how our father in high regard, there's two people in, in the room today that named children after, after my father, Quinn. I say, e mihi ana. Um, I'm going to read out this prayer. And it's a prayer for Uncle. Out of the depths I have cried to thee, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. If thou, O Lord, shall observe iniquities, Lord, who shall endure it? For with thee there is merciful forgiveness, and by reason of thy law 
I have waited for thee, O Lord. My soul hath relied on his word. My soul hath hoped in the Lord. From the morning watch, even until night, let Israel hope in the Lord. Because with the Lord there is mercy, and with him plentiful redemption. And he shall redeem Israel from all its inequities. Internal rest grant to Uncle Olson, Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Amen. O God, the creator and redeemer of all the faithful, grant to the souls of your servants departed the remission of all their sins, that by our pious supplication they may obtain the pardon which they have always desired. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. No te o honu tanga wa kuhara i karanga i a hau ki a koe te e ari ki e te ari ki ki a rongo koe ki to kure o ki a pakarongo. How good and how pleasant it is when brethren dwell together in unity. Loreto, 
I te whānau, i tautoko ana nga nga mihi kua mihi a ki a koutou. Mai te whare nei, mai tā wāhi, tai atu ki tēnei wā. Mai te whā tā lo whā atu, i le sua whā a Jesu Christo. Mone tātou ali, mone tātou whā ola, i i le atua. Give thanks uh, to our God, who is the beginning and end of all things. And for me, I just want to uh, pass on our, our love and our condolences to your family. As we farewell, uh, Olsen, in his final journey back to Te Taitukera, back to Tanaukai Pō, Ki Awarua, Rira Kamuhi Tonu. Uh, kia kata, kia kaha, kia maia, mā te atua hei manaki hei tiaki a koutou i roto tēnei wāpauri. Nō reira e Elson, haere atu koe, ki te rā kāinga tūturu mō taua nei te tangata, ki Hawaiki nui, Hawaiki roa, Hawaiki pāma mā. Nō reira... Noa fiunga, tō whā, tō whā, tō whā. Manuia raumananga. Let us give thanks in this time as we close our, our service today. We give thanks uh, to our God. Gathering all our prayers into one, as our Saviour has taught us to pray, let us pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forevermore. Amen. Now unto him who is able to keep you from falling, and present you faultless before the presence of his glory, with exceeding joy, to the only wise God our Saviour, be glory and majesty, with dominion and power, through Jesus Christ our Lord, of all time, now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Mi tonu ki a tātou katoa, kuri no tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou katoa. I think we've got that one, we've got one more. Daryl, Daryl's got to be here. Okay. Uh, I think we'll, we'll sing our waiata. Yeah. Te aroha. And then we'll watch, uh, as we finish our service today, uh, a short video that will come up on the screen to complete our time together. So, Etu Tato, please stand for our final Te Aroha. <coughs> te Aroha Te
Show's over. How's that a way, good way to end uh, day, day seven, or was it day 15 of the tangi? Uh, <laughs> so, as, we, as we gather, uh, one of the things I'm reminded of, one of the gifts of uh, Leslie Vainakolo, uh, um, an old boy of Mangere East who was an uh, All Black and a rugby Auckland uh, New Zealand rugby league player, said the gift that Olsen gave him was Whakapapa. He reminded him of the place where he stood and grew up. Whakapapa is the gift that Olsen gives all of us because it's not about just our connections to Fano, it's our connections to the land. It's the stuff that grows out of the land. And uh, as we gather around and we celebrate this man, his legacy is not a superstar on the rugby league field. His legacy is his whakapapa and our challenge to whakapapa. So let us uh, gather around him and take him out. It's not a farewell today because some of us will be back here tomorrow. Uh, thanks, Al, for making it only two and not six. Um, but uh, let's... let's uh, 
gather up around and I, I thank you, our, our front row over here. <laughs> I'm sure the whanau won't mind if there's people here who would like to come up and help move Alton out please feel free to do that we need your hands, we need your hearts uh, but there is a trolley you don't have to carry them Oh, oh, oh. 